I do think 2024 is going to be a year they look to contend. I don't think David Stearns took this job with the idea of, I'm not going to try to win year one. And I got no indications from anything he said yesterday uh, to think otherwise. But I like that he has uh, that long-term vision. And it's it's something that's been echoed by Steve Cohen and Billy Epler prior. So you could tell that there's there's some synergy here in thought process that they want to win in 2024, but they're not going to completely borrow from 2025 and 2026 in order to do that. And that's, you know, instead of being very short-sighted, they're being big picture thinking, which is where ultimately you want the organization to be. Yeah, I think they're going to be delicate with some of the resources that they have right now, rather than always kind of, I mean, this is a, a really low hanging fruit example, but it's the easiest one I think to use. The Javi Baez trade, where you trade Pico Armstrong, a former first rounder that's now a big time prospect with the Cubs. You know, the Mets were trying to get a jilt at the deadline that year. And that's just not a move that I think you're going to see under David Stearns in year one. I think that, you know, they're going to have to be pretty far along, not just hanging around to make those kinds yeah. of moves. So that was an emotional move. That's what emo- it was. They, at the time. Perfect an emotional way to put move it. instead of a rational move. So I think David Stearns will be, and yes, he, he is analytical, and, and we'll talk obviously more about him here, but he's an analytical based guy. But the vibes I got yesterday was someone that understands people, someone that knows that there's not a secret sauce. And that's something that I think a lot of people in the analytics side of the game think it's all numbers. And I can use my computer to tell you that this team is going to work and going to do this human element. I think uh, David Stearns is a good blend of understanding the human element exists. And part of that is probably his upbringing as a huge baseball fan, but he's also going to be the smartest person in the room, basically almost any time he walks into one and he can use those numbers to his advantage. 